Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So we're gonna continue the tutorial. Sorry for the past uh, two weeks I didn't uh, make video. Uh, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue with the logging. So don't worry, it's, uh, it's, last, uh, it's like the almost the, la the last part for the logging in the front end. So time to jump on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna update dependency as always. We're gonna uh, remove the debugger open. We're gonna like, create a Google app and we're gonna set up the logging uh, with Google. So here, delete line 9. We don't gonna use any more the debugger for this app. We're gonna add something more better for this. After that, we're gonna run yarn upgrade directive. After that, we're gonna do ESLIN, React Native Element, React Native Extend, but everything else than React Native because Expo manage it for us. So when it's gonna be done, we're gonna uh, remove the non module and we're gonna just uh, be sure everything is working. Perfect. We don't really need the null module, so what I'm gonna run it's yarn. All so, okay, perfect. So now after that, if we can run x start to start exponent, the time this is starting, we're gonna jump here and we're gonna create. Um, we're gonna create an app. So if you go to a console, uh, so finally I'm gonna show you. If you go to the new website of Expo, so they changed the design and I really love it. So take uh, take time to take a look of it. If you go here, you can go inside the Google in the left. They show you what to do. So we're gonna just do the credential for the iOS, but you can just follow for the Android. So go to the credential page. After that, when you came here, just create another project. And here I cannot, so I'm lucky I have another one. But what you need to do finally is really simple. It's here, You this told you everything we need to do. It's create an app, after that, uh, go there, click on the create credential, O out client ID. After that, you uh, you say configure consent screen. After that, I'm gonna say product name, I'm gonna say meetup, me, so the name of the app. After that, click on save. After that, oh, we're gonna use iOS, and inside the bundle ID, just copy paste this line here, O's, apps, uh, apps, exponent. After that, click create. Perfect, we have it. Take it, so click on copy right here. After that, inside the constant right there, we're gonna create new file, Google config. So after that, what we're gonna need to do, it's we're gonna create this thing and we're gonna call it, so export default, and we're gonna call it uh, client ID iOS, and just paste what they give you. Save it, and after that, it's ready to get the use. After that, here in the expo, we start. Uh, we can start to open the iOS part. And the mtmac trash in real time. Maybe get some memory. Sorry, my computer is really really slow. So. Hope you enjoy the smaller video. I try to make it less than 20 minutes. It's better for you to don't hear my big accent for one hour, so. So this one gonna be good to go. Always long to bundle the first start of the day. After that, we're good to go. And I have uh, something to tell you at the end of the video. So uh, maybe I can uh, say right now the time this thing is done. It's I'm planning to make an OGS uh, tutorial in, 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 in parallel with this one. It's gonna be deep with Node.js, uh, the deeper I can with my knowledge. And 
So I want to like show you like how to use Webpack in the server and uh, how set up authentication and all this stuff. So uh, I would like to know if this is a course people uh, like you want to 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 get. So I know if this is a good idea to make. So I would like to know this in the comment. So time to play with some Google out here. Line two, add Google here. So we're gonna add Google from Expo. After that, shift command D, copy paste the same line. Do here, command D on Facebook config and type Google config. After that, here, we're gonna create another uh, 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 function called logging with Google. So this is already set up because of this one here. And here it's really easy to do. The only thing we're gonna do is a try catch. So here when I have a, an error, I'm gonna just throw the error for now. And here I'm gonna say cons result equal await Google dot uh, log in async. And here you take an object. And the object gonna be iOS client ID, gonna be equal to Google config that client ID iOS, and the scope gonna be equal to what we ask, and we're gonna ask for the profile, and finally the email in quotes like that. After that here, we're gonna just do if result that type equal 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 success. So if we have a success, here we're gonna do something else. Else. We're gonna just return uh, cancel, cancel to be true, like that. So here, what we're gonna do for now, alert, alert, like that, like we did almost here. We're gonna say log with Google. And finally, we're gonna just put the result that access token, just to see if that works. Now we can save. After that, we just need add what we have already so on press we're gonna set up google perfect so now facebook is working when i click we have facebook like before but now when i click on connect with google now i get to continue with me on me click on my name and if it's working login with facebook and now i get my token perfect so that was it for this video next video we're gonna jump on the server and be uh, ready to make, uh, we're gonna uh, uh, make the connection with the token and make it available to now log. And after that, it's gonna be time to work with uh, adding a meetup and do stuff like this. So um, hope you enjoyed the video. As I said before, I'm planning to make a Node.js course in parallel with this one. So that is gonna be like a one one video each week on maybe more to the Node.js because I've already made something about the Node.js, if you want to see what we're gonna build with the Node.js uh, course, that's gonna be some uh, something like I did with my Node.js API boilerplate right there. So it's uh, a big project I've done, and I want to make a video about how I make it and what I learned, and maybe that can help you to make your Node.js uh, API. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna again paste all the description uh, all the stuff in the description with my uh, repo so um, we talk later have a good day bye